Hey, what's going on, guys? Kyle Miles are here, and today I want to talk to you all a little bit about the Creation Catalyst, which is coming out this Tuesday. Now, over the past, honestly, week or so, I've gotten a lot of questions about the Catalyst. What pieces should I make? How can I make them? Where is it at? How many pieces can we make per week? Uh, so today I want to try and address hopefully all those questions you might have heading into this upcoming reset to min-max your own creation catalyst now if there's any questions that i missed here or you like any week or as or add-ons to see here they're all indeed available to get free on my twitch it's linked down below somewhere here if you want to swing by hang out ask any questions or just you know chill in general anytime feel free to do so and before we get into the video i also want to give one big shout out to my patrons thank you a million times you guys for all support i really appreciate it if you're interested in supporting on patreon there should be a link somewhere up here as well as down in the video description below and i do feel a bit stuffed up today so my apologies if i, if I sound a bit uh off today compared to normal so and that being said let's get into the video Alrighty, so I am on 9.2 PTR. That version is still up. If you want to get on PTR and look at these gear sets ahead of time or the pieces you might be able to craft, it is from the, uh, I guess, set to Torin. It's in Orbos right here. But so briefly getting into the pieces you can craft, there are some outside of tier that are worth mentioning depending on where your current gearing is actually at. But before we get into that, the blue post blizzard put up. So we know it takes a certain amount of cosmic flux to upgrade pieces, bracers and cloaks 600, belts, boots 800, gloves and shoulders 1200, and chest, helms, slash legs 1500. Now, if you've been doing Xerath Mortis at all, it's probably very likely you have a lot more cosmic flux than this, but keep it in mind for alts, you will indeed need cosmic flux, and there's no way, as far as I know, to transfer cosmic flux from one character to the other. So if you're planning on doing it on alts, it might be worth knocking out your weekly quest in Xerath Mortis, killing rares, and just, you know, being sort of active in the zone. Now, for those who don't know, helms, shoulders, which are tier, tier, chest, uh, legs, and gloves. So your five tier pieces are all covered by the creation catalyst. However, there are a few pieces, cloaks, bracers, gloves, belts, and boots that are able to be put into the catalyst and will give you a different piece of gear. However, that will not be a tier bonus. It essentially just changes the amount of, or I guess, it changes potentially the secondary stats that you have on that piece of gear. Now, in addition to that, Blizzard also mentioned in here that you'll be able to craft one item weekly with the Creation Catalyst. So initially they said you'd be able to craft one item off the bat and it would take a longer duration for it to come back off cooldown again to make a second item. And it would get shorter over the duration of, I guess, the remainder of 9.2 in Shadowlands. Now, we're not sure if they shifted towards just making one item a week and didn't say anything or if the wording is just odd here so keep in mind that you want to try and most likely look somewhere or there might be a duration on the actual catalyst when you use it but it might be one item per week and it might be you know one maybe a bit less than one depending on the actual cooldown duration on it based on what blizzard wants to do but the one of the big things that people have haven't talked about like we said is that you can put tier into the catalyst right let's say for example uh, let's see here i take this, this robe, for example, right, which has crit and haste on it. It's, an, it's a lower eye level from last season, but that's fine. I'm on PTR. This is an old character. If I put this robe into the creation catalyst with 101 haste and 60 critical strike, it will give me this robe here, which is haste and mastery. The secondary stats on the piece of gear you put into the catalyst will change to the baseline secondary stats that are on your tier gear. That will not change. You cannot play... The system with like oh i want to have a you know let's say a verse mastery tier chest for whatever reason sounds terrible but you cannot put a verse mastery chest in the catalyst it will still give you haste and mastery there's no gaming that however one thing you can do is i have a tertiary set item here let's see so i for example i, I have an old domination socket helm let's say this was not a domination socket if i put a, a helm in the creation catalyst that has a baseline socket in it it will spit out this tier helm with haste and mastery on it comparatively to burst and mastery, but the tier helm will indeed have a socket on it. So this is the way you can get a socket on a tier helm if you'd like. If you don't roll, let's say you have a tier helm from Heroic or Mythic without a socket in it. But let's say you have a 278 helm from the Great Vault you took one week when you had bad luck with a socket in it. You can put that helm into the catalyst and it will give you the exact same tier helm secondary stat wise based on the eye level you put into it, you know, same eye level, depending whatever it is, but you'll have that socket. It works for sockets and tertiary stats. Tertiary is meaning speed, avoidance, indestructible, all of that. So long term, you're able to like game a lot of pieces of gear. Technically all your tier, even though some have sockets and some don't, like helm versus gloves. Gloves can have avoidance. Gloves can have leech, indestructible. 
whatever would have you speed right so that goes for basically every piece in the creation catalyst now outside of tier pieces like we said there are other pieces of gear we have boots these are cloth boots for example there are other other classes have other pieces obviously the same piece but different stats potentially the warlock or i guess cloth boots are i guess warlock more so this is a demon star set the boots are 77 crit 43 haste the bracers are 36 crit 54 haste the legs we know tier legs the belt is 28 verse 93 mastery and the cloak is 62 versatility and 28 mastery so hypothetically theoretically if you get to a point where you have a maxed out set of tier on you you know 285 shoulders chest uh 278 helm uh legs and 285 gloves from the jailer let's say down the line we'll get to that in a minute you can go in here and put in you know a pair of boots bracers cloak belt and it will give you a belt with potentially better secondary stats once again verse mastery not the most exciting for us same as the cloak but these boots crit and haste or these bracers crit and haste they're actually pretty enticing based on what you have but keep in mind pieces of gear like helm like your helm like your chest like your legs they have a higher amount of raw intellect and secondary stats at the same eye level comparatively to something like gloves you can even see here 252 gloves 70 intellect 255 legs 106 intellect so it would benefit you more likely most likely more so to upgrade the higher pieces like legs helm chest based on what you have early on in the catalyst but everyone's gear will indeed vary based on what you currently have uh, and briefly i did mention 285 gloves from the jailer someone's going to ask on mythic the jailer drops higher eye level i mean on every difficulty he does but the big thing he drops gloves so while there are no gloves theoretically that drop as you know tier at 285 you can take these gloves and put them in the catalyst and it will give you 285 tier gloves they won't be haste and mastery they'll be haste and crit but they will indeed be 285 when you put them in the catalyst so there's a lot of min maxing with the catalyst you can do let's talk a little bit a little bit about what you should do week one and some ways you can maybe filter through what's better for your own character Alrighty, for those of you who don't know where the creation catalyst is it is in the catalyst gardens in the south i guess southern part of zareth mortis right up here now i think there's an issue or there was on ptr where you had to have flying to get up here if not i believe there's a vent there standing here that could fly you up but i'm not sure how it's working on retail either way uh flying's not too hard to get it should work regardless yeah draven's down there usually but uh i don't think flying will be required but either way it's in the south southern part of zareth mortis so here's the catalyst not open yet i'm on retail right now so there's a couple ways you can approach trying to figure out what piece is best for you in the actual catalyst now number one the big thing is that raid bots has indeed implemented a drop optimizer sim for the creation catalyst now this is good but also a bit sketchy in a sense at the same time because ev not everyone's going to have you know you can select one item level here for example right you can go 268 272 275 but you're not actually able to choose individual eye levels based on the actual pieces of gear you have for example yeah sure a 278 helm might be insane right but if i don't have a 278 helm i don't want to sim with 27 a 278 you know non-tier helm for the catalyst but i can't sim for a 278 pair of gloves without simming the same for a 278 helm so if you want to do this theoretically you can just go in here i don't believe you can uh, what i've been doing i've been just been running multiple sims on the drop optimizer i can run one i can run two let's do 278 across the board i can do come in here again i can do it uh, in here once again i can run 272 for example and then i can run 265 if i have it with pieces of here now realistically i'm not going to spend my first charge on a non max eye level piece of tier but this is one way you can do it it will show you like the actual raw dps gain by making you know shoulders versus chest versus helm keep in mind if you are completing a four piece or even a two piece tier set bonus it will show you a substantial dps gain i already have my four piece on now so you know making big gloves about 185 dps increase i have normal ones on currently but i don't have 278 gloves for example but i do have a 278 pair of legs from the first boss in the raid which is you know not as big of a dps gain as the ones that i have on here my tier legs but i don't have the gloves right so if i were to upgrade gloves the ones that i have eye level wise you know it, it's a 77 dps increase versus the legs being 120 so you have to like play with this sim a little bit but it is helpful if you have multiple pieces of gear that you're trying to sim now on top of this this is sort of something that you see happening in raiding guilds and just things in general one big thing is that 
Tuesday comes around, Catalyst is here. You're going to want to wait to open your Great Vault and see what you get. Now keep in mind, I believe it's three or four different cells here, get you a socket every week, but you're going to want to see, number one, this is very important, whether you have, you know, I guess zero piece, two piece, uh, any type of tier, right? Where you're looking for more than one piece to complete your four set. Let's say, for example, I have a helm and shoulders for my tier. I don't have chest, gloves, or legs. Theoretically, yeah, you might say, okay, I want to make chest. You log right in, go make chest at the catalyst. Then you go to your great vault, you open it, you have a chest here. You want to open your great vault and see the options you have. Number one, for potential tier pieces. And number two, just to see if you open a higher pair of gloves or a higher chest or a higher helm before you decide on what item to make from the creation catalyst. And that might seem sort of obvious, but people are going to miss that. It happens every single time. Now, to a similar extent, if you can delay using your catalyst until after your raid reclear, if you raid Tuesday, Wednesday, or whatever day, if you don't need that piece of gear to make your four set, or maybe you can even hold off a bit for your early farm bosses to see if maybe one drops tier for you instead, you can use that catalyst charge for a different piece of gear. That is also advised. Now, the downside to that is that you won't be able to trade an item to somebody in the guild. Like if you loot mythic tier, you know, I mean, but, you know, trying to fill out your four piece at this point, I'd be doing just about everything I can to min max enough to get my two or real realistically four set done. So there's a lot of things you can do to min max the catalyst. And I would assume for the most part, most everyone's going to be making a tier piece early on because tier, the big pieces that you want to make or look at making are helm, chest, and legs. Those give the most like just raw stat, right? I have a legendary helm on, I can put this here. Helm, chest, where's it at? There we go. Helm, chest, and legs. These are like your largest main stat, secondary stat allocated pieces. 117 int on this. We have 125 here. And 117 here this is a bit of a higher eye level but looking through everything else like shoulders at 285 106 intellect gloves 78 boots 99 so if you have all these pieces at a high enough eye level where you don't need to make them great that's awesome but it would most likely benefit you the most probably look at making one of these three tier pieces maybe even if you already have one just at a higher eye level for that raw main stat secondary stat gain but once again the drop miter sim will indeed help you with that now, one final thing to keep in mind when also running these drop miter sims and just get preparing for things is that certain pieces of tier and legendaries that you might craft can potentially overlap. For example, when I'm playing Madness Destro, head and hands are where madness goes, right? So yeah, you know, theoretically Helm is a, is a better tier set to make if you're looking for, you know, Helm gives more secondary stats. So if you have the 278 Helm laying around and that will complete your four piece, you might think, yeah, that's a great piece to make. You know, why not? It, it's more stats. But at the same time, like that means you're making a higher piece, your gloves as a legendary at 291. So if, if you're playing a build that has, you know, double, that has a legendary power on two tier pieces, it might actually behoove you to make, for example, the tier gloves at a lower eye level and then make the legendary Helm at a much higher eye level also with a socket on it for that max stat gain. So there's a lot that goes into this. Now you can run a sim similar to this by going into raid bots once again, compiling a, like a top gear sim with multiple pieces of tier and changing the eye levels and adding in multiple variations of this. So it becomes sort of complicated, but you can sim for, you know, the best case scenario, the worst case scenario and really go from there. I mean, TLDR, most people that are going to be working on the catalyst uh, that are you know, rushing for it are probably going to be working on just finishing their four piece out. They need like Lords of Dread or Regalon tier. They don't really care. They want to slam it. They want to get their four piece done. But hopefully there was something useful in this video that might have helped you or answered some questions along the way because I've been getting a lot of them over the past week or so. What are you going to make first? What are you going to do? And honestly, like, I'm really not sure. I have the option of making 278 Mythic Legs. I already have, like, I have Heroic tier, for example, right? I have 278 legs from the first boss. They have better stats on them. They're crit and haste. But when I put them in the actual catalyst, they're going to go to crit verse legs at mythic eye level. So it's still a raw DPS gain. And if I run the sim, like I said, the drop optimizer, theoretically, they are the highest DPS gain for me at 120 because I don't have 278 gloves. I have 268, I think, which is right around here, uh, which is like 100 DPS gain roughly, give or take, depending on what eye level you're looking at. So it varies a bit. It'll vary a lot for your own character. In the end, nobody's really going to be able to tell you without looking at your own gear set through Top Gear and whatever you have in your bags, what is best for your own character. You're going to have to take the initiative and run your own Sims and try and figure that all out. But the good news is, if you don't have your four piece, you should hopefully have it this coming Tuesday. 
So yeah, thanks for watching guys. I hope this video wasn't too long. I haven't actually looked at the duration yet, but hopefully it clarified all the questions you might have had about the creation catalyst, which comes out once again on Tuesday. Now, like I said, it's really going to be of your best benefit to open your Great Vault maybe not necessarily even select a piece of gear from it but see the options you have if you have two piece and you want to try and get four pieces this week to a similar extent lfr is out you can run that if need be for a tier, a tier set and try if need be or if you can to wait and see in your raid reclear if you get a tier piece you don't have which makes you know crafting your fourth piece really easy all of it depends on what you currently have no one can tell you what is the de facto best piece for your own character very similar to stat weights in sims which is why running your own sims and knowing what you have gearing wise is very important if there are any questions in this video that i didn't answer uh once again feel free to swing by stream anytime there's a link down below here to ask them or any week or or profiles or add-ons you saw here you can also grab it for free uh and once again one huge shout out to my patrons thank you many times guys for all support i really appreciate it if you're looking at supporting or interested there should be a link somewhere up here and down in the video description below and while you're down there hit the like and sub buttons it helps out a ton and also if you feel inclined let me know what you guys think about the creation catalysts and how late it actually came out i was going to make a video talking about this and then drag some petals covered it and i was like eh, you know but i do feel the catalyst should come out probably week three or four week seven or eight or whatever this is feels way too late but uh it is what it is we'll uh <laughs> you win some you lose some we're here now we'll take it so thanks for watching guys and i'll catch you all again soon on stream Peace.